my name's Hope and welcome back to my channel. I like musicals, they're a big part of my life and today I'm going to be ranking some musicals. Yeah. Do you guys remember those tier lists that were popular like three, four months ago? Yeah? Well that's what I'm going to be doing today. I've attempted to change the setup so you can see all the musical posters because I have added. I'm currently blocking Frozen but there are more up there. I'll give you a quick tour actually before we start. We start at the bottom with Frozen, then Miss Saigon, then Billy Elliot, then Heather's, Les Mis, Hamilton, Kinky Boots, Phantom, Wicked and Book of Mormon. And then we have like my other musical stuff around and then lots of TV shows. Woohoo! I know that was a little bit of a distraction but like appreciate the posters guys, come on. So for anyone that wants to do this tier list themselves, I am on tiermaker.com and I am on the ultimate musical theatre tier list maker. I did, however, change what the rankings are, so I'm just going to read them out. So we have one with the gods, so the iconic, the the classics, the, the faves of mine. Because obviously this is my opinion, so don't get offended if a show I've ranked really low is one of your favourites, because we all have our own opinions. Then we have A Sight to Behold. These are not the icons, but they are truly amazing shows, and they are worth every fibre of our beings. Then we have Wicked, haha. <laughs> I wanted to do that with all of them, but I'm not witty and or creative enough to think of them. So we have Wicked shows, so shows that are wicked. Then we have Solid shows. They are shows that are still good and they're strong, but like you wouldn't class them as your favorites, but you're like, I appreciate that show. I appreciate it very, very much. And then we have the No column. I feel like there's a couple of shows that might come into your head that fit into that category. I'm not gonna say what they are, but yeah. And then we have the haven't listened to column, which I doubt many will be in there because I think I've heard at least one song from like every musical in existence. But you know, there's probably going to be somewhere I'm like, I don't have enough judgment on that. So I will put it in this column so that I don't offend anyone. And with that, let's get into it. Okay, so the first show is 13. I have not seen 13. I've seen like little clips and I tried to watch bootleg but uh, got distracted. But I like some of the songs, but it's not a fave, so I think I'm just gonna put it in a solid show. Like, it's not it's not amazing, but like, it's cute, cute. A lot of homework to do is my personal favourite. Everyone loves what's mean to be a friend. And what's it called? The one where there's like, holy macaroni, no, it can't be true. It can't be true. That one, that is also a solid song. Okay, next is 21 Chump Street. And I don't really know that much about 21 Chump Chump Street. It's written by Linda Manuel Miranda and Anthony Ramos is also in it and so is Lindsay Mendez. There we go. I got there eventually but I do know what the heck I gotta do to be with you. And so you know it's by Lin Manuel Miranda. It has a good bot and good people in it. feel like that's just kind of a given for a solid show so it's going in the solid show. Okay, next is Spelling Bee. I love Spelling Bee, I think it's great. My Unfortunate Erection, despite the name, is one of my favourite musical theatre songs ever. And then I Speak Six Languages, that was like the first one I knew. That's great. Pandemonium, a bop. So I'm going to put it in the Wicked section, because that is a Wicked show. It's not like a favourite, and I don't know every song on the album, but like, it's a solid show, it's a fun show, it's a cute show. Spell me saying that. Next is 35mm. Oh my god, we have a lot to go through. You know, I might do half, because I've just realised how many there are, so I'll do half and we'll, we'll come back to it, because it's a big list. But anyway, 35 millimeters. Sarah Berry, Legend of Sarah Berry is, oh, it's a good song, it's a good song. However, I don't actually know any more of the show. That's the only song I know, but that is a bop. So I'm gonna put it in the haven't listened to cause I only know the one song, but for the record, Legend of Sarah Berry, iconic song. So if it was Legend of Sarah Berry, it would go one with the gods, but it's not. It's 35 millimeters. And I know Alex Brightman's in it, and I haven't listened to anything he said, so just no. Okay, next is 42nd Street. I have not seen 42nd Street, nor have I listened to any of it. I was meant to go and see it last year, but um, Wizard of Oz rehearsals got in the way, so I didn't end up seeing it. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to put that in the haven't listened to column. A travesty, I know. Okay, 9 to 5. Don't have a problem with 9 to 5. Get Out and Stay Out with Stephanie J Block is just beautiful, 
but like haven't really listened to the whole album and what I do know it's all right so it's like it's it's like below a solid show but we don't have that so I'm gonna put it in a solid show but just know that it's it's not it is a solid show but not as solid as the other two Adam's family I think that is a sight to behold it's not one with the gods because like we all have we all know the icons which is are these basically um but one normal night tune crazier than you tune uh when you're in Adam's tune they're all tunes and they're all great and the show itself is great it's all great it's one to behold sight to behold beautiful there you go that's the that's the thing. So I think I'm gonna pick Band's Visit. Right, Band's Visit is so underrated. It makes me mad how it won the Tony for Best Musical, like Gentleman's Guide, and they just didn't get the recognition they deserved. Right, Band's Visit is a wicked show. Omar Sharif, who doesn't love Katrina Link, honestly? And if it's not Katrina Link singing it, it's a bop. It's a bop, I'm just saying. And, right, Welcome to Nowhere, three-part harmony, like, yes. That's all I have to say there. I think I'm gonna have to hurry up a bit, otherwise I'm gonna run out of time. So, what should I pick next? I'll pick Be More Chill. Be More Chill is a solid show. It's not a wicked show, I would personally say, but like, it's solid, you know, it's got, it's good songs, the storyline's good, it's interesting, it's dead popular. There we go, I do listen to it quite a lot. Sang to it, sang to it today. So, you know, what am I gonna go with? I'm gonna go with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is a sight to behold. Like dead mom, no reason. What I know now, say my name. They're all, oh, it's iconic, isn't it? Yeah, actually, it's one with the gods, and it's done. It's it's had its injustice, but who knows? Maybe after Broadway reopens, there might be some salvage there for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a godly show, come on. Chorus line, I would put it in... Uh, I'm gonna put it in a wicked show. I watched the film and I absolutely hated it and it made me really sad, but then I listened to the whole album and I was like, the film just doesn't do the musical justice. Honestly, at the ballet's three-part harmony, dance 10 looks three, nothing. I sang nothing for an exam piece. Just all around, it's a wicked show and I feel like people should check it out because I feel like people are just like, it's a dance show and it is, but it's very impressive. And it has good songs. Billy Elliot. Don't take that as an accent, cause I can't do them. Come on, it's it's on the wall. It is this one. Hey, I was right. It's that one. <laughs> uh, it's iconic. What do I have to say? Angry Dance is my favourite. If anyone's wondering, it's the best number in the show. Don't at me, cause I'm true. And I'm sorry for the lighting, but it was either the setup or the lighting, and you know, whichever way I move, even if I move under the light, it's still bad lighting. So deal with it. Okay, I'm gonna go into actual quick fire mode. So I'm gonna be super, super quick fire mode and you're just gonna be taken aback by how quick fire it is. Okay, so, okay. And Juliet, it's solid. I don't really like musicals that have pop songs in them. It's not my kind of thing, but I listen to them and I like what they did with them. Probably wouldn't go watch it, but you know, it's, it's solid, what can I say? Annie, Annie is wicked. I love Annie. I was in Annie, I played Annie. I'm saying Annie a lot. I really like Annie. People don't like it, I like it. NYC is a great song. It's my favourite. And then we like to thank Herbert Hoover. Two songs not in the film, but highly underrated. And I'm just gonna say that. Come From Away is gotta be. It's iconic. One with the gods. I cried. My mum loves it. I love it. Go see it a thousand times over. I was in the Three in the Sky video. Not to flex. But yeah, Come From Away. Oh, iconic. Aladdin. Eh, solid show. You know, I don't mind it. I like the album, but I know the story and I'm not a big fan, so there's that too. Bring It On, it's a sight to behold. I love Bring It On, I think it's great, you know? What can I say? For anyone who needs a Campbell or an Ava in a production of Bring It On, you know, I'm always here. Or a Skylar, or a Kyla, or a Danielle, or a Lassie or an Autica, even though I'm not fit to any of those roles. But I like Campbell and Ava, wink wink, nudge nudge. But yeah, they're all great. Okay, what else can we do? We can do Anastasia. Anastasia's a wicked show. Jane to the Past is my favourite, but like, I feel like it's everyone's favourite, but Chrissy Altman's an icon, so 
I'm gonna say actually my Peter's Burger as well. They're my two faves. What I do I do? Anything goes. I love Anything Goes. I would say it's a wicked show. It's a little bit dated, but I think it's great. I'd love to play Rena Sweeney. She's like so fun and cool and edgy and all that. Well, she's not really edgy, but you know what I mean. I'd love to play her. Avenue Q. I think Avenue Q. I'm gonna put Avenue Q as a wicked show. Like I think it's great, and I've seen it, and it was a lot of fun. But like, it's not one where I was like, oh my God, I'm having a heart attack because it's so good. It was like, yeah, this this is jamming. This is fun. This is cool. All that nice stuff. Okay, Bonnie and Clyde. I think Bonnie and Clyde is wicked. Underrated because it was on Broadway for such a short time. World to Remember Us and How Bad a Dance and all them. All beautiful. So appreciate it. Laura Osnes and Jeremy Jordan. What's not to love? Okay. Beauty and the Beast. I think Beauty and the Beast is a sight to behold. I love Beauty and the Beast. I'd love to be in a production of Beauty and the Beast. I'd love to play Belle, obviously. But yes, Beauty and the Beast, very solid. Catch me if you can. I... Oh, oh, it's froze. It's froze. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I fixed it. Okay. I'm going to put Catch Me If You Can a solid show. Fly Fly Away, which I am currently singing for an exam, is amazing. And like, Goodbye and Life in Living Colour. Like, both solid, but I don't know, just something not there. I've also not seen the film, so I don't really know the entirety of the story. So there's that too. Colour Purple, oh my god, right. Past Wicked, no, it's not going in Wicked, it's going in. It's going in a sight to behold. Mm, I'm here. Cynthia Erivo, what is not to love? You can't tell me otherwise that is not the best song in the show. And Cynthia Erivo is not a queen, like... Straight facts. Straight facts. Cats. Gentleman's Guide is not going in, haven't listened to, because I've listened to it very much. It's a sight to behold. Underrated, like I said before, with the band's visit. But I think I love Gentleman's Guide more because it's got a bit, bit more of an interesting plot, I would say. And there's a range of different kinds of songs. Okay, so I wasn't intending on finishing the video here, but the next clip I have is around 10 minutes long, and I was like, I don't want to break that up because then it'll like stop flowing because that was a very flowy clip hopefully you understand what i mean so there will be part two i will be editing that part two and you will see that part two i'm not sure when but you will see it eventually so thank you guys for watching like the video if you liked it i hope you did keep enjoying musicals as much as me and i will see you in the next one bye guys